Hello guys, today let's create a portal effect in material. We can change the scene's texture inside the portal. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, first we need a custom texture, just what you like. Then we also need a static mesh, similar to a plane of circle. The UV is also very simple, just map it directly. Now let's create the material. Always the same. Translucent, Unlit, and Two-Sided. And then let's create a mask of circle. We made this in the previous video, so let's fast forward here. In a world, we need a sphere mask to fill the inside of the scenes, and then two subtractions to make the ring around the edge. Note that they have different radius and hardness. OK, multiply them by the particle color. And the large circle multiplies the alpha as opacity. And the ring we multiplied by RGB. We also need the scene's texture inside. OK, find the texture and we can use triplinear to create this effect. Convert to texture object. Net 8. We can add a dynamic emissive color effect to it. So multiply it by a time. And we can control the frequency of flashing by time. Multiply the time by 0.3. Make the flashing frequency slower. And then we need a sign constant bell scale. OK. The bells, we can change it to 2. OK, multiply them. Connect it to add an emissive color. Yeah, we can see the inside scene's texture. But now it looks strange, so we need to change the triplinear's parameter. First, its tiling, we can set it to 0.5. And offset we can set it to 1.5. Yeah, it looks better. And axis fit can fit the seams between our texture. We can set it to 100. Let's see. The seams is very clear, so let's change it to 4. OK, now let's add an edge desert effect to it. We also made this many times, so let's fast forward here. First, we can add a 2D vector to control the spheres of sight. And then we use smoke as the desired texture. Use rotate and panner to control the desired. And then copy this node, change some parameters, and blend them. In this way, the desert will be better. OK, now let's add a word position of sight. We need a word position and a object position. Subtract object position using word position. Multiply it by a lerp. We can use a dynamic parameter to control the lerp. Or we can use material parameters. The parameter we can rename it to word position of sight and connect it to lerp's alpha. A is negative 1 and B is 0. So when the parameter is 0, the portal is in a contracted state. OK, now let's multiply the word position of sight by the sphere mask and connect it to word position of sight. OK, we are done the material. Now let's create a Niagara system to show the effect. Or you can use Blueprint. Here we use Niagara, it's convenient. First, we need a mesh render. Use the sphere mask, the static mesh. 
and also our material. And then we need a spawn burst. Yeah, we can see the material. And then let's change the lifetime to 10. Also, we need to change the system's loop duration to 12. Otherwise, it will be spawned every 5 seconds. Next is color. We can use a purple color to match the inside scene's texture. Then it's mesh scale mode. We can set it to 5. Okay. We also need initial mesh orientation because we want it to stand up. Mesh orientation mode to none. And rotation, we just need X axis to 0.25. In particle update, we need to change its scale mesh size and scale color. It's same, we use curl to control its color and scale mesh size. The curl is same, but in scale mesh size, the scale curl is 1. Finally, we need a dynamic material parameters. We also use a curl to control its word position of sight. These values, we can change it to our liking. Okay, let's take a look in the level. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.